Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. And in this video, I am going to be unboxing the longest Arlo camera you've ever seen with up to a one year battery. Okay, pretty crazy. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to be going over key features and I'm also going to be doing a setup. Okay, a lot of people ask me for setup. So I'm going to leave the setup for the end. For people that want to see a step-by-step -step setup on this specific camera, this is the Arlo Essential XL. I'm telling you, it's huge. So stay tuned. Here we go. There it goes, guys. Wow. Look at that. The Essential XL. All right. 1080p, weather-resistant, two-way audio, color night vision. Does not require a hub. Guys, you can buy this connect it where you want it you don't need a hub okay you just need wi-fi and check that out one year battery life is that crazy or what look how long this thing is so let me go ahead and unbox this but before i do i always like to bring the uh, back of something from the past you guys uh, ever see this this is one of the uh, iphones this is the first iphone that ever came out Back in, I believe, 2007. Is that sick or what? Look at this thing. I mean, is that thick or what? Yep. We are always rocking the latest and greatest in technology. So let me go ahead and crack this box open. And hey, guess who's hanging with us today? Brooklyn. Hanging out with us. Taking it easy. She's a big fan. She's always here to support me. So let's do this unboxing because that's what you want. That's what we're going to do. So let's slide this up, see what we got, see what we got. All right, here it is, guys. Now, I should have, I'm going to do, I'm going to grab another Arlo camera. I'll grab an Arlo Pro 2 so you can see a comparison. OMG, check this out, guys. All right, look at the side view. Watch this, watch this. I'm going to have the camera, I'm going to have the, the watch this. Ready? It's going to come like a spaceship. When does it stop? I mean, is that sick or what? Look how big that is, man. Do you see how big? <laughs> it's crazy. Look at the sensor on this thing. Oh, my God. Wow. So, uh, I just have a, a different, um, a different setup here as well. I mean, you can, you can screw it from the back. You can screw it from the bottom. That's good. Um, how do you get in it? I don't really see a button on here. They really close this up good. I'm gonna. It's gonna take some time to do some playing, but guys, wow, that's the camera. You get an outdoor mount. Okay, that's probably about a twenty dollar value. That's a good mount. And let me just say, not all mounts are created equal. I went and picked up some generics, and believe me, they were they were pieces of junk. Um, and I'm, I'm saying the one that I picked up was a piece of junk. So this is really they've done a really good job with how this actually works. I know you look at it as something simple, but um, we do get a uh, charging cable in the box. Okay. Um, we do get a little pamphlet here, I guess. All right. Some questions and setup. What else is in here? Is there, is there a plug? Do they give you a power brick? All right. They give you some mounting hardware. You do not get a power brick. So you have to use... One of your own power bricks, guys. So you, when your power brick is what you plug this into in order to charge the camera. Okay. Now, this might have a built-in camera. I mean, a built-in battery. We'll have to find out. But, guys, that's it. Some mounting hardware, some little booklets, uh, warning stuff. So, more to come. All right, guys. So, to the right, you have an original Arlo battery camera. Not rechargeable, just a battery camera. Old guy, right? The original, the OG. To your left, you have the Arlo um, Pro, right? This is the Arlo Pro. Same size as the Pro 2. And check this out. Look at this bus coming by. I mean, is this crazy or what? Do you see how big that is? <laughs> I mean, in comparison to a Pro 2, look at that. I mean, get on the bus. <laughs> so one thing I learned is it is an internal battery, guys. So uh, you're not getting in this thing. And it does have a flap here in order for you to charge it. All right. They, they're still using the old micro, 
no plug there, okay. Uh, to my knowledge, this should be the button that you, you're going to use to pair it or turn it on, because that's the only button. It does have a light built in, a big sensor, and I'm going to definitely do some tests with this thing. Um, you know, I'm going to do some tests uh, in the backyard for a couple of days and then give you some feedback on what I think. Um, I, what, I, what I'd like to do, um, if possible, is, is let's see how long I can do the test for. I'm not going to keep it up for a year and tell you what I think. Um, but let me, let me, unless I end up keeping it, we'll see. I mean, um, I usually will buy this, test it out, do my review and then sell it. Um, but, uh, yeah, more to come. We'll be back. All right. Let's go over some key specifications on the Arlo Essential XL. Costs can vary from $129 to $149. The max resolution on this camera is 1080p. The field of view is 130 degrees. The zoom is 12x digital. It does have color night vision thanks to that spotlight. It has a single motion sensor. It's 110 degree. It has a single microphone with noise and echo cancellation with a one year warranty. And keep in mind that battery is an internal battery. Okay. I don't know if you can get a replacement. All right, so listen, don't go anywhere, okay, if you want to watch the setup. But if you don't, before you leave, give us a thumbs up, all right? We really appreciate that. It helps the channel. And also subscribe. Join the family, okay? And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified of new videos. But stay tuned if you want to see the setup. All right, now we're going to go over account setup, adding your camera to your Wi-Fi network, power and video settings, how to mute your notifications, arming and disarming your camera, meaning it'll either record or it won't when it's disarmed, setting recording time length, okay, and then saving and sharing or deleting video clips in certain circumstances. Okay, once you downloaded the app, go ahead and hit create account, fill in all your information, make sure you select I understand and agree to the terms and hit continue. You're going to get an email verification. Go into your email. You're going to need to click on verify email. It's going to take you to a website and say congratulations. Okay, now we're going to be setting up access to your account, okay? And this means that whoever accesses your account, you can either get a text message or a push notification onto your phone. What you're going to need to do is basically name all of your devices that access your account. They're called trusted devices. Let's say you have a phone and let maybe it's a Galaxy. You want to name it Jack's Galaxy. And then your wife's phone, you might name, want to name it Sabrina's iPhone. All right, so you're going to name your devices and these are going to be trusted devices. Any other device that tries accessing your account won't be able to get into your account. So keep that in mind. Next up, we're going to go ahead and select our camera so we can set it up. All right, we're going to select the XL. We're going to connect it to our Wi-Fi network. Okay, you're going to need to put in your credentials, such as the name of your network, along with your password. So hit continue. All right, put in your information here, and then hit continue. Okay, now you're going to want to press the button on the bottom of the camera for one to two seconds until the light starts flashing blue. Once that happens, you're going to end up scanning this QR code that's on your phone with the camera itself. You might need to move the camera up or down or back or front, and then you'll hear a chime. Now it's going to look for your camera. Okay, this might take a moment, so just be patient. Once it finds your camera, you'll see a nice check mark just telling you your camera has been found. You're going to go ahead and name your camera now. So create front door, back door, whatever you decide, you name your camera. Hit continue. Now it's going to look for a software update, if I'm not mistaken. 
All right, if there is a software update, this could take a moment as well, so be patient. Okay, so now it's updating and just let it do its job. It doesn't, you know, it could take a while, but we'll see. After it's done, we'll move on. Firmware is updated. Now, you just want to make sure your, your signal is strong here, and that's the main thing. Don't worry about positioning your Arlo camera just yet. All right. Okay, now your camera is active. And this is going to be the new Arlo Smart three-month trial, okay? So all you really need to do is walk through these steps and close these windows. All right, set up your Arlo Smart so it can detect packages and things like that. So go ahead and select Settings on the bottom right-hand corner. And then once you do that, we're going to scroll down and I want you to select Video Settings, okay? We're going to open that up. I want to show you power mount management. So as you can see, when you go into power management, you have best video optimized and best battery life. Best uh, optimized is the best place to be, honestly, because it's good for video quality and it is good for battery life. Now let's go into um, how to mute notifications. As you can see here, you can mute your notifications. So if you have a party and maybe you're using your phone for music, you don't want your notifications going off, right? So set it for three hours or 24 hours. It'll still record video clips, but you won't have notifications. Okay, let's get into modes now, changing your modes and also your recording time, okay? Let's take a look at that menu here. On the bottom, select modes. And as you can see, you've got arm all or disarm all, or you can go into your individual cameras. So let's select armed next to Arlo XL. As you can see, it is armed on the upper left-hand corner. You have the green dot. Let's select a pencil in the upper right-hand corner, and then let's select the next pencil over here. And as you can see, motion detected is selected. Let's select that pencil and you can actually adjust recording time from 300 seconds or you can make it 5 seconds to 120 seconds. I like the 300 second option to be honest with you. I would leave it there. And that is by default. Okay. Now let's go over how to save clips. So you're in your library and you want to save a clip. All you have to do on is click the three dots on the right hand side and this menu comes up. And you can actually save to your photos, you can share, or you can delete. Um, and I'll tell you, saving it to your photos, maybe, you know, I had a bear walk across my lawn one day. I definitely saved that to my photos. And what I did was I posted it online and we all laughed about it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And check out Brooklyn. She's wagging her tail for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell, you'll get notified of new videos and you'll join the family. Also, contact us or follow us on Instagram or Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.